guys, welcome back to my channel. It's finally fall, my favorite time of the year. So today, I'm here to bring you my favorite beauty items that gets me through the whole winter season. If you wanna know my beauty essentials for the fall, then keep on watching. My name is Terry, and I do honest, no hype product reviews here on my channel. Let's be real, it is actually 90 degrees outside. Um, it's officially fall, but it doesn't feel like fall. I've been saving this top specifically for this video, and so let's get started. Okay, when you think of fall, it's cold, dry months. Your skin is dry and your lips are chapped. That's what this video is all about, to kind of give you these beauty essentials that I use to get me through the winter months. Even though I have oily skin, I do have combination skin. So certain parts of my face do start peeling depending on the season, depending on the weather. And so when I have dry, extra dry skin or when my skin is irritated, I use a hydrating, cleanser and this is the hydro boost hydrating cleanser from neutrogena i love love this because it has hyaluronic acid it helps with calming down the skin when there's irritation and it just give me that extra moisture that i need during the winter months it's a drugstore brand it's very affordable so give it a try next one is toner i like a facial toner that's gonna give me that extra hydration and this is it from Thayer's. It has witch hazel and aloe vera and we all know those are two great ingredients for skin. Witch hazel relieves inflammation. It also fights acne. So when you have sensitive skin like myself, I love those toners that do two things at once. It fights acne, moisturizes, and hydrates all at the same time. It says it has a cucumber scent but honestly, I can't smell that very well. This is alcohol free, so you wanna get skincare products that are alcohol free, that way it doesn't dry out the skin. Aloe vera is very good at soothing the skin. So love, love this toner, highly recommend it. Okay, next one is a good moisturizer. You need a good hydrating moisturizer. This one is the Ultra Repair, one of my favorite moisturizers. It's like a gel moisturizer right here very hydrating it has a cooling sensation when it first goes onto the skin it's non-comedogenic one of my favorite favorite moisturizers for the winter months. during the winter months you need a good hydrating mask and this is the generation clay brightening purple clay mask just the sensation that it gives me it gives me that hydration gives me that refreshed cool feeling on the face so it's a nice little treat during the winter months when your skin is dry and parched i feel like it gives me that plump well refreshed hydrated skin after i use it it's such a great feeling and i keep going back to this mask so i've tried it so many times already definitely a must buy for the winter months now let's get into some makeup if i were to choose a foundation it would have to be something that has skincare benefits for the winter i love this it cosmetics cc cream it has spf and yes guys even during the winter months you still need to wear spf it's an anti-aging um, hydrating serum and so i can you guys hear my lawn mower So I love this because even though it's a full coverage foundation, it doesn't feel like full coverage on the face. It feels refreshing, it feels light on the skin, um, and it's because of its hydrating, moisturizing benefits. So this is essentially a moisturizing day cream. So it's kind of like your day cream and foundation all in one. It has anti-aging benefits, so it's good for the skin, especially for more mature skin like myself. Highly recommend this for the winter months. Must have during the winter months is my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I love this facial spray. And I've tried many facial spray, but this is the only one that refreshes my makeup and not make it look cakey after I spray it on. Um, it just literally refreshes the face. Um, so when you feel like you your foundation is kind of starting to look cakey or they're starting to um, you know, hang on to the dry spots on your skin, I put this on and it kind of 
um, smooths out the face. I've tried the Rose Spray, the Grace and Stella one that I got from my Fat Fit Fun box and this is nowhere near as good as this one. I have this Mario Badescu setting spray in my car. I have it on my nightstand. I have it in my bathroom, in my makeup drawers. So highly, highly recommend it. It has aloe, cucumber, green tea, all good hydrating ingredients for the fall. During the winter months, I have the worst chapped lips. It would have that kind of that red line around the lips and I'm always constantly looking for the best lip products that's gonna nourish and just really hydrate my lips. This product by C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve. I got this one at the Nordstrom Rack and I think they always have it there for some reason. I got it for $5.50. Basically, this is a lip balm. It's non-sticky, it's very sheer, so see how it's really a sheer lip balm. And actually, you can use it anywhere for your cuticles, for your lips. I don't know about putting it on the face though. I mean, especially if you have oily skin. If you have really, really dry skin, you might be able to put it on to your dry patches. Since this is a really heavy balm, I think it's best for like hand, like maybe elbows, knees, that kind of thing. If you're gonna use it for lips, just use it for lips. Don't put it all <laughs> everywhere around your body, right? But I love using this for my lips and it's really good at conditioning and reducing any kind of skin irritation. I love putting this on before like a liquid lipstick, or something that's maybe more drying or a mattifying lipstick. I like to put this on first and it's kind of like a barrier on your lips before you put on lip products. So next one is by Lan Lancome, the Lancome Juicy Shaker. It looks like a martini shaker. Is that what you call it? Basically, it's a lip oil with a tint to it. It's really very hydrating. It's good for the lips. When you're not using it, the oil kind of separates from the pigment, and so you'll see those separation, but when you mix it and shake it like a martini shaker, and it looks like this. I love this color. This is in the color Piece of Cake. The applicator is really just a sponge. I love using it by itself or as a hydrating lip gloss on top of a lipstick. The color is not very opaque, but you can kind of see that there is some color there. You know, just in general, I love to have this in my purse and just put it on whenever I feel like my lips are really chapped. Highly, highly recommend it. Next is a hand cream. You need hand cream for the fall winter months, right? I recommend the hand cream from L'Occitane. This is the dry skin hand cream with 20% shea butter. I prefer the one with the 15% shea butter. The 15% shea butter is in the same packaging. It looks exactly like this, only that it says 15% right here instead of 20. I prefer the 15% for every day. This one is more of like an overnight hand mask, um, but it's really thick and moisturizing and I love it for the winter months when you have really dry skin. The 20% one is known to survive up to five to six hand washes, I believe. I wouldn't say it survives up to six washes. I would say it would survive at least two to three, for sure. So I don't have to reapply as often because of its hydrating quality. So love this, perfect for the winter time. The next one is not really a beauty item. It's more of a skincare for me, at least. So when I think of the winter months, it's cold, you wanna drink your favorite tea, you know, any kind of warm beverage that you like. There was a time in the winter time when I really had bad hormonal acne. And so I did a little research and I found that drinking a spearmint tea at least one to two cups a day can reduce hormonal acne. So there hasn't been a lot of research as to whether spearmint can definitely reduce acne, but for me, it has worked. Whenever I find that I'm stressed or I'm getting a lot of acne that acne medications can't seem to control, I try to pair up the acne medication with the tea and it just works. It just makes 
the acne go away much faster especially my cystic acne now this is not a great tasting tea by any means i consider it to be my medicinal tea and so um, i do it for the face i do it for the body and so why not i don't care if it does, tastes good or not but you know if you need something warm and at the same time help you with that annoying acne then why not spearmint is an anti-inflammatory antioxidant um, ingredient it's definitely worth trying if you're having some acne issues during the winter months so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel i post videos once a week comment down below what your favorite holiday is during the fall winter season you like halloween do you like um thanksgiving or christmas for me it's really a cross between halloween and christmas so if you comment your favorite holiday or favorite part of the fall season i'm just gonna go ahead and do a mini giveaway in this video how about some of my favorite masks i've done a video of this before on um, face story face mask this is an amazing mask it's a three-step process so you can get these if you are subscribed to my channel and comment down below. So that's it. I'll see you next week and hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.